Hey everyone, Jason from Maycare here with another Carver Air tutorial. And in this one, we're making the three axis relief project from the examples guidebook that comes with our Carver Air desktop CNC. The examples guidebook comes with every Carver Air along with the sample pack of materials that can be used to complete these projects. The design files and bits are also included with your Carver Air, so making these projects are an easy and satisfying way to get started with CNC production. Now the first step of this example project is to secure our stock to our Carvera Air desktop CNC. And for the three axis relief project specifically, we're using a piece of epoxy tooling board that's 100 by 150 by 10 millimeters in size. But before you put the epoxy board onto the bed of your Carvera Air, ensure that a piece of wasteboard has been fixed to protect the bed when we cut all the way through our stock. We could then secure the stock as shown in the examples guidebook, aligning it with anchor position one in the bottom left corner of the bed and securing it by placing a top clamp along all the sides using the machine screws included in our toolkit. Next, it's important to make sure that we have all the tools that we need ready to go for this project. Specifically for the three axis relief project we're looking at in this video, we only will be needing tool one, the 25 millimeter single flute end mill, and tool two, the 30 degree 0.2 millimeter V-bit. We can also load our first tool into the Carvera Air, which will be the wired probe. With our CNC set up, we can head over to the Carvera controller app to configure and run this job. First, we must connect to our Carvera Air in the Carvera controller app, then within the files menu, there's an examples folder that includes all the example files for the project shown in this guidebook. There is only one file for the three axis relief, which is called Pirate Ship. Once open, we can preview the design and tool paths before clicking config and run. We want to make sure that the file is aligned with anchor point one in the Carvera controller, just like our stock is on the bed of the Carvera Air. As shown in the guidebook, we want our offsets to be three millimeters for X and three millimeters for Y. We also want to enable scan margin, this traces the perimeter of our design before cutting, and auto Z probe, which will set the height of our stock automatically. We do not need auto leveling for this project as we'll be machining all the way through the top surface for this particular part. Once everything's set, we can click run to start manufacturing. The Carvera Air will first begin by scanning the perimeter of the part using the laser pointer built into the wired probe. Check to make sure that there's no clamps in the way or obstructing this margin. The Carvera Air will then probe the point set within the controller to measure the height of our stock before prompting us to load tool one, both in the controller app and with a flashing light and tone on the machine. After loading tool one, the 25 millimeter single flute end mill, we can press the button on the top of the Carvera Air to begin machining this part. For the three axis relief, the machine will start by roughing the stock using the 25 millimeter bit. You can always monitor the progress of the machine in the Carvera controller app during the manufacturing process. After the roughing process has been completed, the Carvera Air will prompt us to load tool two, which is the 30 degree V-bit. Once we press the button to continue, the Carvera Air will begin to cut the fine detailed features of this design. It's difficult to see what's happening as we're cutting so deeply into this soft stock, but again, you can monitor what's going on live in the Carvera controller app. Lastly, our machine will prompt us to load tool one again so that the part can be cut from the stock with an outer contour cut around the perimeter of the design. Once manufacturing is complete, you can clean off this part using the brush or a vacuum to reveal the detailed design. After releasing the top clamps, you'll notice that the part is held onto the stock using what's called tabs. This stops the part from flying loose during manufacturing, and the tabs can be carefully cut using the small handsaw included in the samples and materials kit. And that's all there is to it. This simple project really showcases some of the detail that you can expect from the Carvera Air Desktop CNC, and all around it's a pretty easy project to do with just two bits and a simple single piece of stock. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more projects and guides on the Make Air channel and wiki site.